one, rescuing a stranger. It was mid-afternoon and Jacob was busy reading under his favorite cherry tree in the orchard. He lived with his grandmother in a town in Wisconsin and reading was his favorite pastime in between classes. The weather was sunny all morning, but it kept growing darker and cloudier by afternoon. Soon enough, dark clouds covered the entire sky and pressed down towards the ground. The noise of thunder and lightning startled Jacob and he felt annoyed that he would now have to go back inside. Thunder noises resonated in the sky as lightning flashed. It felt like the lightning was ready to dash through the clouds and break the sky into pieces. Damn it, exclaimed Jacob. He looked at the bad weather and sighed. He knew that a storm was approaching. He breathed in the moist air as he paced himself towards the corner store that was about 300 meters away. If the superstore in the dorm area wasn't under renovation, if he didn't use three consecutive scissors in the rock, paper, scissors match, he wouldn't be out here in his pajamas and slippers. He wanted to read a book, but his roommates wanted to play cards. <sighs> a loud thunder sounded, and Jacob started to run as he tried to avoid the storm. Ah! Jacob was about to speed up when he heard the scream of a girl from above. He looked up in confusion. He was shocked by what he saw. A girl was falling from the sky. That wasn't all. That girl was about to land on his head. Damn, exclaimed Jacob. He took a step back and lowered his center of gravity. He then reached out his hands and went into a squat. Bam. The girl smashed into Jacob's chest, and that force made him lower his center of gravity by another 10 centimeters. The force was so strong that he almost collapsed. The girl's head also smashed onto Jacob's lips, and that impact almost made Jacob lose a few teeth. Gulp swallowed Jacob. Something dropped out of the girl's mouth, and it smoothly went down Jacob's throat since his mouth was still wide open due to the initial surprise. Sweet, smooth, and small. Before Jacob could react, this candy-like object was already in his stomach. However, Jacob didn't focus on that as he felt the weight of the girl on his body and felt that his hands were getting numb. He looked down at the girl in his arms. Long black lashes, short ponytail, snow white hair, youthful figure, and the blue school uniform with the Cherry Grove Middle School badge. She seemed like a senior in high school and looked pretty. Jacob couldn't seem to take his eyes off her. Ah! The girl woke up in pain. It took her a few seconds to finally realize what had happened. She screamed as she opened her blue eyes. She looked at Jacob and suddenly tried to stand back up on her own. Though the girl did not weigh as much, the impact of her fall made Jacob's legs numb, and now that she was finally awake, he couldn't help but wonder about her fall. There weren't any buildings around, and she certainly fell from a height way above the trees. Where did she come from, after all? The girl stood up, touched her body, and then rubbed her lips that felt a little swollen. After she saw the red mark on Jacob's lips, she blushed and hit Jacob's neck. <sighs> hey, I saved you. Before Jacob could finish his sentence, the girl already ran off. Girls nowadays are really tough. She seems fine after falling from such a height. Jacob rubbed his neck as he watched the girl running away. It's not too bad. She didn't hit me too hard. Thankfully, she didn't hit my face or break my neck. He then rubbed his lips. While he remembered the girl's lips coming down on his, he somehow didn't feel like he kissed her. It wasn't the kind of warmth you would feel when you kissed a girl. Not that Jacob, or his friends, had any luck with girls so far in their 20 years of existence. He was already a second-year university student, but he still didn't have a girlfriend. I'm such a loser, Jacob thought as he patted his thighs and stood up. He looked up at the sky and suddenly found that the dark clouds were all gone and even the sun had come out. Damn this weather. I thought there was going to be a huge storm, Jacob murmured to himself. He didn't want to get too hung up on what just happened. He quickly got to the corner store and bought two decks of cards. After that, he promptly returned to his dorm that was located in the south end of the campus. As soon as he entered, his roommate Sam spoke up. What took you so long? Quick, we were all waiting. Jacob's three roommates were waiting for him. Jacob threw the two decks of cards onto the table and said, You guys can play. I'm not in the mood. What's up? You look grim. Sam, who was wearing a white t-shirt, asked, didn't we agree that whoever lost would go and buy cards? 
What's the point of being mad about that now? I'm just a little dizzy, Jacob said as he crawled up to the top of the bunk bed that belonged to him. Hey, we agreed on playing cards today. Sam wasn't too happy. Are you okay? Asked another roommate. He was worried about Jacob. Not sure. I'm just not feeling too well. Jacob rubbed his chest as he responded. Did my organs get injured from the impact when I caught that girl? He thought to himself. Should we take you to the infirmary? Sam also got serious as he saw Jacob's face. It's fine. I fell by accident on my way to the corner store. Jacob pointed at his chin that swelled a little. It was hit by that girl's head, but he didn't bother telling his friends about the strange encounter. Then get some rest. Since it's not raining, we're going to the cafe, said the third roommate. Yeah, you guys go ahead. Jacob waved at them. He wasn't feeling up for anything but some sleep. Sam was still a little worried. Just call me if you need anything, he said. Okay. Jacob took off his slippers and got in his comfortable, cozy little bed. The four of them were all single. Except for gaming and playing cards, they didn't have any other passion. Jacob sighed as he fell asleep. He was exhausted for some reason. When he woke up, it was already six in the evening. There was a box of takeout food on the table. It was the dinner that three of his roommates got for him. Through the doors, Jacob heard the noise of his roommates playing cards in the dorm room next to his. They were afraid of being loud and waking up Jacob, so they were playing next door. Real brothers, smiled Jacob. He scratched his head as he climbed down from his bed to get the food. When he stretched out his hand to open the parcel, he was shocked. His body froze in place. In the dark room, he saw a circle of green skin on his right wrist. Jacob felt like his heart had stopped beating for five seconds. He drew the curtain so that he could see his arm better. A green fish scale-like tattoo covered his right arm from wrist to shoulder. Jacob felt like he was hallucinating. He rubbed his eyes and the green skin was still there. He then tried to smear this green matter off of his body, but it didn't work. Jacob felt a chill down his spine. He quickly undressed and stood in front of the full-length mirror. He wanted to see if there was anything like this on other parts of his body, but there was nothing. He got dressed again and began to eat his food. After about half an hour, his roommates came back and asked Jacob if he was feeling any better. Jacob said that he wasn't sure. His roommates offered to take him to the infirmary, but he refused. The truth was that Jacob was himself puzzled with the day. A girl that fell from the sky and into his lap out of nowhere. The foreboding of a storm. The green, scaly skin on his arm. He touched his wrist once again and made sure it was hidden from his roommates. He didn't want to freak them out until he found out the truth about the strange events of the day. But how will he find out? Will these scaly marks disappear or would he have to live with them forever? Who was that mysterious girl?